is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2022 genesis gv80 courtesy of genesis of york in york pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so i'm in this one today because there's actually one major change for the 2022 gv80 and a couple smaller changes as well in addition to that you do get america's best warranty as well being five years sixty thousand mile bumper to bumper 10 years 100,000 miles then on the powertrain also getting three years 36,000 miles of complimentary maintenance as well so you don't have to pay for things like the oil changes tire rotations and things like that and you also get the Genesis experience which gives you a whole heck of a lot of things including three years of complimentary Sirius XM radio you also don't actually have to ever step foot in a Genesis dealership if you didn't want to you can actually buy the car they'll come out to your house when you get the car serviced again if you're at home if you're at work they will find you they'll take your vehicle give you a loaner and then they will return with your vehicle that's a pretty cool feature in itself the genesis experience so ultimately in this video i will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering for ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so there are so many trim levels for this particular one so i'm gonna actually just go ahead and put a screenshot on the screen there of all those different trims essentially pricing starts at forty nine thousand seven hundred dollars and then there is a brand new trim level for the 2022 gv80 and that is going to be the prestige signature that one goes for seventy five thousand two hundred dollars but in case you were curious we do have the 3.5 liter twin turbocharged advanced plus trim level with us here today meaning we get the three rows so we'll be going over that a little bit but having said that there are two different engine options available for the gv80 first one being a 2.5 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder putting out 300 horsepower at 5800 rpm 311 pound feet of torque coming in at right around 1600 rpm power for that one sent to the rear wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 6.4 seconds with mpg numbers coming in at 21 in the city 25 on the highway regardless of whether or not you go with the rear wheel drive or the all-wheel drive so might as well go with the all-wheel drive for a little better traction there but taking premium unleaded fuel and then there is the other engine configuration and the one we have today being a 3.5 liter twin turbo v6 this one cranks out 375 horsepower at 5800 rpm 391 pound feet of torque coming in at 1300 rpm power sent to all four wheels only so this is only an all-wheel drive configuration for this engine setup Power sent to the ground through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters, which you guys know we will test out here in a little bit. Zero to 60 time coming in at approximately six seconds flat. MPG numbers at 18 in the city, 23 on the highway, yet again, taking premium unleaded fuel. And so before we do any kind of fun paddle shifter or acceleration test here in the GV80, they would have mentioned the drive modes. So there's a little circular dial just behind the cup holders that is labeled drive mode. And essentially when you turn that, you get different drive modes like snow, eco, comfort, sport, and custom, adjusting things like the shift points, the throttle response, steering sensitivity, the suspension settings, and the gauge cluster slightly as well. And not only that, just behind that drive mode button, there's actually a button that's labeled lock. That is going to be your all wheel drive lock button. I've actually used that in my Hyundai Santa Fe. It's essentially the same concept. When it starts snowing out here in PA, go ahead and lock that in and it is going to just run through the snow like it's absolutely nothing. So it's a pretty good button to be aware of as well. But now, having got all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and put it in the uh, fun driving mode labeled sport. Let's find a straightaway and let's put the paddle shifters here to the test and let's see how quickly they are going to react for us here. All right, here we go. They're not bad. I gotta be honest, they're not bad. Usually with SUVs, they're bad. <laughs> but with the GV80, they're really not all that bad. Usually you get some kind of a delay and the paddle shifters are essentially worthless in SUVs, but not with this. They're actually kind of fun. And the other benefit to having paddle shifters in an SUV is when it does start snowing out, if you're then going down a hill, rather than hitting the brakes and risk sliding off the road, you can actually do a little bit of engine braking. So then if you downshift using the paddle shifters, the engine is essentially going to slow the vehicle down as opposed to you hitting the brakes. So you're less likely to go ahead and slide right off the road. But now having done that, gotten that out of the way, we gotta say, let's go ahead and get back full control here to the GV80. Let's yet again find another straightaway and let's see how quickly we can get a new 3.5 liter GV80 here up to speed. All right, pulling out onto the road. Here we go. <laughs> I 
That is definitely fun. Definitely not going to have any issues emerging onto the highway. Zero to 60 in six seconds flat is plenty of an acceleration, especially for a three row SUV like this particular GV80. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 14.2 inch ventilated front disc for the 2.5 liter. It's actually bumped up to 14.9 inch ventilated front disc for the 3.5 liter. In the back, it's the same either way, coming in at 14.2 inch solid rear disc. As far as that 60 to zero stopping distance, as you can imagine, it's going to differ between those two different engine configurations because of the different brake sizes. For the 2.5 liter, it comes in at 117 feet, which is insanely respectable. And then for the 3.5 liter, it gets even better at 112 feet so braking feel has been 100 on point in my short test drive here today definitely on the firmer side of things i love the braking feel so you're absolutely not going to have any issues when it comes to braking here in the gv80 but so then touching on suspension and handling there will be an independent front and rear suspension coming standard front and rear stabilizer bars as well there's also an electronic limited slip differential which essentially sends torque to the rear wheel with the most traction so that's definitely going to be a good thing as well not just for handling but just for grip and acceleration overall electronically controlled adaptive suspension also coming standard on this one which essentially uses a forward-facing camera to kind of scan the road and adjust the damping accordingly not only giving you a smoother ride but also tightening up the suspension during heavy cornering as well kind of giving you the best of both worlds there and as far as ride quality goes it has been perfectly fine here in my short test drive today without a doubt definitely soaking up pennsylvania's road imperfections very very nicely here as far as steering feel goes it is going to differ substantially dependent upon the drive mode that you put in it i still have it in sport driving mode so let me go ahead and put that back to comfort and it immediately loosens up but actually even in comfort driving mode it's a little it's normal like i like it a lot of times with suvs it's loosey-goosey but genesis did a good job with the steering feel of the gv80 i'll say that then touching on cabin noise i am driving right now as you guys can clearly see there isn't a whole lot of exterior wind noise coming into the cabin whatsoever there's a little bit of ruffling of the floor mats in the cargo area <laughs> but that is about it so definitely no issues there and that's due in part because there is an active noise cancellation system which measures interior sound waves then creates an opposing sound wave to then help counter that noise Noise. So it's kind of a cool little technologically advanced feature there. Then touching on visibility, it is 100% on point. Now I don't have the third row up right now so there's no third row headrest i'm not sure how they would look but for now it is perfectly fine it's absolutely wonderful in our big old three row suv here rain sensing windshield wipers do come standard on all trim levels and there will be a head-up display if you want to go with one of the prestige packages and i actually do have that here it's projecting my speed speed limit and safety features up onto the windshield so that's going to assist with visibility then as well but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Genesis GV80. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 Genesis GV80 finished in Savelle Silver, in case anyone was curious of our exterior color name. And as far as what's new for the exterior for 2022, there's actually some matte colors added for the 2022 GV80, which the benefit is there's nothing like that really on the road. And typically they're found in luxury vehicles like the Genesis, like BMW or Mercedes. The other thing is you always have to hand wash it. So you can't take them through any kind of touch car washes, I guess you could say. But anyways, let's go ahead and start up front on the GV80 here. Large shield aluminum front grill to match the logo. And I'll show you guys what I mean here. Let me actually get up a little bit closer. You guys see the uh, Genesis logo there? It looks like a shield. Then when you zoom out, it's essentially mimic. That's more or less where they got the design of that front grill, and it definitely looks good in my opinion. To the bottom corners there, you do have front air curtains as well, helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination for a little bit of aerodynamics there. To the sides, a very cool headlight design. It is a quad beam LED headlight design. And of course it comes with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark at night, those headlights will turn on automatically there. Automatic high beams as well. So when you hit that, when a vehicle is coming in the opposite direction, it's going to dim it back to low beams automatically. And then when that vehicle is gone, it's going to then put it back up to high beams automatically yet again. So that's pretty convenient. LED daytime running lights also coming standard then as well. So overall, like I said, a very cool looking front end to the GV80. Kind of looks like a Bentley, 
but you gotta love it. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the front. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the GV80. So but now making our way to the side, silver roof rails do come standard, chrome window surrounds also coming standard along with that. Rear privacy glass, as expected, also coming standard, but there are some chrome slats found on the front fender. Gotta love that. And they definitely imitate the quad beam headlights in design. And the coolest thing is, part of that design is actually the integrated turn signal. So if I were to put on my left turn signal right now, or my right turn signal, I don't know which one I'm gonna play for you guys, but there's LED light bars. And so that's where your turn signals are actually going to be located on the side of the vehicle, as opposed to actually in the mirrors themselves. And speaking of, Body colored power adjustable side mirrors do come standard. They will be heated and power folding for all trim levels across the board. And to tie along with those chrome accents around the windows, you do have some chrome accenting not only on the side skirts here, as you guys can see, or the bottom portion of the vehicle, I should say, but also on the doors then as well. But then take a look at the wheel configurations. 19 inch alloys are going to come standard. 20 inch alloys on the advanced packages like we have today. And then 22 inch alloys for the prestige packages, all of them wrapped in Michelin all season tires but that pretty much rounds out the side of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the back it's so, up now since we are around to the back here body colored shark fin antenna all the way to the top just below that rear spoiler just below that rear window wiper just below that you got genesis lettering spelled out horizontally of course led quad tail lights then for all trim levels across the board again matching perfectly with those front headlights integrated dual exhaust outlets then just below with dual trapezoidal tips so Having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. All right, so now since we are around to the back of the GV80, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a hands-free power tailgate for every single trim level, ever configuration across the board. So that is one way you can go ahead and open it. There's also a button on the key fob and there is a button by the driver's side left knee then as well. And so, but then once opened up, when it comes to cargo capacity behind that third row, and by the way, I'm gonna re-emphasize this, the third row is only available with the Advanced Plus package, which is the one we have today. So that's how we got that 11.2 six cubic feet if that was not enough space of course the third row does fold down bumping that up to 34.9 cubic feet behind that second row and then with all rows folded that is going to come in at an even 84 cubic feet so right around where the honda pilot is i guess if you wanted to compare it to a non-luxury suv hyundai palisade is going to give you a little bit more but still plenty of space for an suv but there are cargo tie down anchors located in that cargo area there are grocery bag hooks there is led cargo lighting with some very cool looking LED lights for that cargo air, which I like. There's a 12 volt power outlet back there. There is a cargo cover and there's actually in-floor storage located back there as well, which I thought was pretty cool. But anyways, so go ahead and make our way up to the third row legroom. That is going to come in at 30.3 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. Rear ventilation also is going to come standard for that third row. It's not found on the ceiling, but rather kind of on the side. So I'm showing you guys those vents now. That is going to be there for the third row passengers. Then making our way up to the second row legroom that comes in at 38.7 inches. Again, for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. Tri-zone climate control coming with the prestige trim levels. Rear window sunshades coming with every single trim level across the board. You gotta love that. Heated second row seats with the prestige packages yet again. Front seat bat map pockets coming standard. Dual USB charging ports coming standard. I like that, but also a 115 volt power outlet back there as well, which I was a pretty big fan of and kind of surprised to see. There is also, of course, a rear center armrest with cup holders. In addition to that, there's a little button. If you press that button, it's also going to kind of give you a small tablet holder or just a little bit more storage, I guess you could say. So I like seeing that there too. You also get some wood trim on the side of the doors there. And of course that continues on to the front, but it's kind of a cool texturized finish to it too. So I do like that. And the Prestige Signature trim, that new trim level for this year is going to add to that six way power adjustable second row with captain's chairs and a wing type headrest as well. But in addition to that, one touch second row relax mode and second row wireless charging. That's some crazy stuff that you don't see on any other video. I don't think I've ever seen a wireless phone charger for the second row to date. I don't think the Maybach that I just got done reviewing even had that. So that is wonderful. 
Well done, Genesis. I really like that. But anyways, then make your way up to the front seats, leatherette seating coming standard, full leather seating coming essentially with all of the different package options, any one of them. 12-way power adjustable front seats for the base and advanced 16-way power driver seat for the prestige. Smart posture seating coming with all trim levels. Essentially, it takes your height and your body measurements to kind of create the best possible driving position for you. And you're probably going to adjust it after that. But it's a cool little feature there if you wanted it. Heated and ventilated front seats for all trim levels across the board. There is an ergo motion seat for the prestige packages which essentially uses seven different air cells found within the seating to provide additional support via the side bolsters for example so i kind of like that and you will get memory settings for up to two different drivers coming standard across the board as well and overall seating was one of the first things i noticed it's definitely extremely comfortable the lumbar adjustments were great so seating was very comfortable here in the gv80 then make our way to the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped and the 10 and 2 grips are quite thick, which I personally appreciate. And it's actually heated for all trim levels across the board then as well. Then make your way to the startup. Let me first start by showing you guys the key here. Do you have your Genesis logo on the one side. Then when you flip it over, lock, unlock that button to pop the rear hatch. The uh, hold button with the circle, that's going to be your remote start coming standard for all trims. You also get smart park for all trims as well. That's going to be those P buttons with the vehicle icon. You can essentially pull your vehicle out of a parking spot if somebody parked too close to you without actually having to get inside of it and risk slamming your door into that vehicle beside you. So I do like that feature as well. And in addition to that, there is a digital key coming standard for all trim levels across the board that comes in handy for whatever reason. If your key fob were to break or stop working, you always got the digital key, which you can download an app on your phone and you don't ever have to even carry keys if you too. But anyways, in this case, I'm just going to put my phone to the brake and press that engine start button, which has a cool little design to it yet again. So then when started up, speedometer is all the way to your left. Tachometer is on your right. And by the way, that tachometer also serves as a digital portion to the gauges where you can really customize different things, including when you put that turn signal on. That, of course, is going to show that blind spot view monitor, which I always think is pretty cool. You can check out your driving modes up there if you wanted to. And of course, there's plenty of steering wheel mounted controls giving you all kinds of different things you could check out up there but did want to also mention though although we don't have it today there is a 3d digital gauge cluster that comes with the prestige packages so that's out there too and so then making our way to overall interior quality there is a panoramic sunroof for all trim levels across the board overhead sunglass holder also coming standard led interior lighting all trims are going to get that as well home line controls for all trim levels across the board wood trim with a matte finish like i was saying to you guys all trims are going to get that multicolor ambient lighting all trims, yet again, Genesis does a really good job with standard features, I'll say that. The ambient lighting is 64 different colors, by the way. Dual zone climate control coming standard and also with the advanced, but tri-zone climate control coming with all the other trim packages, essentially. Designer foot pedals, essentially got some indentations, kind of in a diamond type pattern, so I kind of like that. And you do have texturized patterns throughout. I mentioned on the push button start, but also the circular dial to help control the infotainment screen. Also around the shifter itself, which is a cool little circular dial there too, but tons of texturized patterns and finishes, I should say, which I'm definitely a fan of. Doing mention though just the front of the cup holders that's where your wireless phone charger is going to be located you got dual usb charging ports as well if you wanted that surrounding the cup holders you have yet another texturized finish and everything surrounded the center area is going to be in that matte wood finish which i absolutely love then within the center armrest you have a nice felt type of fabric in there and a decent amount of storage there and in addition actually there's some added storage just below the uh, circular shifter and cup holders then as well which you don't always get in suv so i did want to mention that but Overall, interior quality is flawless. It's absolutely amazing. I almost forgot to mention, frameless rear view mirror with home light controls strapped to three different garage doors. There's contrast stitching throughout. Again, that matte wood finish everywhere. I like the singular air vent look just above the passenger side glove box, just below the infotainment screen as well. So interior quality is definitely very, very nice here in the GV80. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen because it is massive. You're actually gonna get a 14.5 inch color touchscreen display coming standard for all trim levels across the board. And like I said, it is touchscreen. It's also voice activated. And there is that circular dial I was mentioning to you guys as well. Bluetooth and audio streaming do come standard. Android, auto, Apple CarPlay as well. Factory navigation system coming for all trim levels across the board. And by the way, you do get three years of free map updates as part of the Genesis experience as well. So if you didn't want to use Android, auto, Apple CarPlay, maybe you live in the boonies. I don't know. You do have three years of free map updates. That's pretty cool. There is a voice memo system essentially recording your voice and then you can 
play it back at a later date if you perhaps did not want to forget about something. There's also a quiet mode. For example, if you have kids in the back and maybe they fall asleep on a road trip to Ocean City, Maryland or something, it essentially cancels out those rear speakers and then limits the front speakers so they're less likely then to wake up and you can still listen to the radio up front then. So that's always pretty convenient. You can adjust your climate settings up there if you wanted to. And like I said, the ambient lighting as well along with your radio information. So let me touch on the sound systems here now. The standard sound system is going to be 12 speakers, which quite honestly is very impressive in itself. Typically with three row SUVs, you get six or eight speakers, usually eight speakers, honestly, but 12 speakers, it's really impressive there. But any of the package options, you're actually going to get a 21 speaker Lexicon sound system. That's a ton of speakers, you guys. But anyways, having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today and Let's test out the clarity of this one. It's wonderful, plenty of bass. I actually felt like there was a subwoofer underneath the driver's seat. Maybe you guys can put in the comment section if that's correct or not, because I could feel it rumbling through the seat. That was pretty cool. So there's a ton of bass. Clarity was great. It really sounded like you're almost at like a Mercy Me concert or something. So very very nice sound system there for the gv80 without a doubt but last thing i'm going to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the gv80 in reverse you will find a very high definition rear view camera with a 360 degree monitor for either the advanced or prestige packages which kind of gives you that bird's eye view which is always is going to lead us into safety so let me first start by saying iihs top safety pick plus which by the way is the very highest designation given by iihs so that pretty much says it all right there 10 airbags including one between the two front seats other manufacturers aren't doing that right now the reason that is done by genesis is because if you get t-boned perhaps they thought of this idea to kind of prevent the driver and passenger from bashing into each other so i like that idea that's definitely a cool safety feature there in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but also coming standard for all configurations on the gv80 forward collision avoidance assist lane keep assist lane following assist a blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert safe exit assist driver attention warning system adaptive cruise control highway driving assist 2 which is genesis's level 2 autonomous driving so that's pretty cool it's essentially like adaptive cruise control where you don't have to keep touching the steering wheel ever so often like i do in my sonata but rear occupant alert then as well and then if you were to go with the advanced or prestige packages you will also get a blind spot view monitor which i've shown you guys already remote start parking assist and reverse automatic braking then as well so overall when it comes to my final thoughts here of the gv80 incredible interior quality really this thing is finished with the best of them incredible value when you consider the price point in addition to that america's best warranty for peace of mind and three years of complimentary maintenance and the genesis experience you never actually have to go to a dealership there's just so many perks to this thing it's crazy excellent tech a 14.5 inch infotainment screen and the availability for the 3d digital gauge cluster that's wonderful that's pretty much as good as it gets right now powerful engine options including the 3.5 liter twin turbo v6 you gotta love it the only constructive criticism and i said this in uh, i think probably last year's review as well is the ride quality is great it's still not quite as good as the competition. It's the adaptive damping suspension system that Genesis uses. It's pretty darn good, but it's not quite as good as let's say BMW or Mercedes-Benz in their adaptive suspension system. So that's all I'm saying. It's definitely not bad. It's very, very good, but not quite as good as some of the competition. That's all I'm saying. But anyways, that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel. Before it actually gets to YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.